What is up family, you read the title of the video. Today I'm gonna to tell you exactly how you can start losing fat in as quickly as one week without the need to track anything. Just a few lifestyle and habit changes. So without further ado, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to habit numero uno. Try and get to the gym at least three times per week to lift weights, okay? It'll help in building up muscle, increasing your metabolic rate, and has profound health benefits. And all you need is three days per week. You don't need to be living in the gym seven days per week, but be sure for those three days that you go hard for an hour, okay? That is all you need. So the next question you're probably asking is how much cardio should you be doing? Well, realistically, cardio is sort of boring. And if you're already trying to get to the gym like three times per week, adding additional cardio on top of that is probably a little bit of a step too much. But instead, try to increase your steps. I know as a student, I used to only hit like 4,000 steps per day. Well, try increasing that to 10,000 per day. You'd be surprised how much of a difference it makes, okay? This activity is referred to as non-exercise activity thermogenesis, or NEAT, and can contribute up to 50% of your total daily energy expenditure. So an easy way to burn calories so what I do is usually plug in a podcast go on a stroll like on my break from work then I'll sort of split up my day every now and then I'll go for like a 10 minute stroll around the block then I'll take the stairs instead of the lift I'll park far away from the entrance of like shopping centers all little things to easily increase the steps okay so the next thing you're probably asking is how should you be dieting what should you be doing in terms of diet for this to lose fat set aside just one hour once per week to get your ass to a grocery store to stock the house up with some whole foods instead of coming home tired every day after work with no food in the house and saying Fuck it let's go for a takeaway <laughs> oh god and that brings me on to the next point, which is going to be once you stock up the house with some nice health foods, although you can definitely just track everything in an app such as my fitness pal and just hit your macros, realistically for the majority of the population, they are not going to be wanting to weigh out their foods and use an app. So instead, we are going to shoot for three or even four large meals per day. And for every large meal, if you are a male, then I want you to include two entire thumb-sized servings of some sort of fat-rich food. So again, here we have avocados. Then for protein, I want you to have two palm-sized servings of any lean meat. So here we have chicken, but again, it can be any sort of fish. Then when it comes to your fruits and your vegetables, make sure to have two fists of fruit and vegetables. And finally, moving on to your carbohydrates, I want you to have two cupped hands worth of any carbohydrates. So pasta, rice, or potatoes. And then when it comes to females, simply half that. So one entire thumb of your fat, one palm sized serving of protein, one fist of fruit or vegetables, and one cupped hand worth of carbohydrates. So not only will loading up on protein and vegetables keep you fuller for longer because they are highly satiating, this method of portion control derived by John Berardi using your hand has been shown to be highly effective because it finally allows you to add a bit of structure to your diet, okay? If you're not losing weight, you can simply remove a cupped hand worth of carbohydrates from one meal or use one or two less thumbs worth of fat per day, okay? It's an easy way to control your calories without the stress of having to weigh everything out and plug it into an app. So the next thing you're probably asking is, if you're thirsty, what should you be drinking alongside these meals. Do not be drinking your calories, okay? Liquid calories are by far the biggest waste of calories when trying to lose weight, as they have been shown to be one of the biggest contributors to promoting a calorie surplus. For example, as you can see, for something that adds no nutritional value to your diet and is actually just an add-on to a meal in itself, which has calories, you're gonna add on an extra 105 calories per serving of Coke. So although you can definitely make it fit your macros, if you struggle with hunger or one more bang for buck, Really try and focus on increasing your water intake for the day, okay? Currently, the recommended guidelines are roughly two liters or 35 milliliters per kilogram of body weight, but yeah, absolutely zero calories, still or sparkling, it's completely up to you. Personally, I prefer sparkling, but regardless of the one that you choose, it has still been positively shown to influence weight loss by reducing calorie intake, okay? So if you really struggle on increasing your water intake or getting enough water for the day, then adding in some flavor enhancers, the sugar-free option, you can see these are like three calories per serving so you add those in to a nice two liter bottle and make sure you down at least one of these per day now if you are still finding that in between meals you are hungry and you want to snack on something try to avoid picking up things like donuts pastries or nibbling on like biscuits chocolate bars all of those sort of treat foods and instead go for things like low fat high protein greek yogurts things like cottage cheese or even cheese strings they're pretty good you can see on the back of the pack it's like 61 calories per cheese string so they're good of course you can go for like protein bars the two companies i would recommend would probably be fulfill and then of course grenade but yeah handy source of protein berries are a game changer so blueberries or even like raspberries or just any fruit in general 
personally, I'm a fan of a nice juicy red apple. Vegetables like celery sticks, or carrot sticks, all minimal calories, just chop them up, put them in a container and bring them to work. Any sort of rice cake, you can even go for like chocolate coated rice cakes or like yogurt coated rice cakes. They're pretty good for volume. Popcorn is pretty good as well, but you get the point. All foods that are lower in calorie, higher in protein and higher in fiber. So next. When it comes to what supplements you should be taking to losing body fat, you see all of these bad boys? You do not need any of them to lose body fat. Correct, you do not need supplements to lose body fat. First, focus on developing sound nutritional and training habits, and then, only then, after then, once you've got those dialed in, consider supplementing. But even then, supplements are just that, something to supplement your diet when or if you cannot reach a certain micro or macronutrient requirement for your day through diet alone. And if you do then want to invest in a supplement, I highly suggest either a creatine, mono hydrate, a standard caffeine powder for your pre-workout or even as a fat burner or thermogenic, and of course a big bag of protein. These three supplements are probably the most researched supplements in the literature which have consistently shown to have any beneficial effect. The other ones are likely so minuscule they are not worth investing in. So that is that. Let's move on to the final habit of losing body fat and that is going to be your treats, okay? So you see these Snickers bars, 220 calories per bar. You see these tubs of Ben and Jerry's? 1,600 calories per tub. So realistically, you are not gonna be able to include these on a frequent basis, but instead of completely eliminating them from your diet, still allow for a little bit of flexibility. And this is gonna be crucial, guys, because within the literature, flexible diets have shown time and time again to have the strongest correlation to long-term dietary success, along with the lowest rate of eating disorders, okay, which you definitely don't want, okay? Rigid dieting will work, but essentially what you will see is people will often just return to their baseline body weight because they will become so restricted that they will eventually just binge on all of the foods that they had been restricting, as opposed to being far more flexible and still including the foods that you enjoy to make this a lifestyle change. So the main method that I've seen most success with is of course making a little bit of dietary compromise, okay? Instead of having a whole tub, 1,600 calories of Ben and Jerry's, go for the lower calorie version, or you know me, I love my Breyers. Or even instead of going for a full whack chocolate bar or a Snickers, which is like 250 calories, go for like one or two little treat sized bars so you can still fit in your little kick for the day and make this more of a lifestyle change. Again, I know it's super corny, but it will allow you to adhere to this long term and lose the fat but most importantly keep it off for the whole of 2019. So there you go fam, some easy, realistic and achievable habits to start implementing in 2019 to start losing fat. Okay, obviously it might not happen in one week, which is probably a clickbait thumbnail for this video, but I can guarantee that once you start implementing these little habits into your lifestyle, you will start to see results. It's what I have used and what I use on clients and it works every single time, okay? Obviously I don't expect you to start doing them all at once, but start off gradually. Maybe first just try and get to the gym at least three times per week. Then once you can do that consistently, start increasing your steps then once you can do that maybe increase the gym to four times per week and then once you can do that obviously just the steps go on it's just a framework that you can use to manipulate to start seeing results the main reason that people fail when it comes to losing fat is because they have no structure once you have some structure and you implement or fix in some variables you can then manipulate them and making progress is actually pretty easy but anyway, that is the end of the video. If you liked the video, please give it a like, share it to all your friends and your family, subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm sorry for no like cheat day videos, but I am actually feeling pretty shit. You can probably tell from the video. I am pale as hell and I have a snotty nose. So I'm sorry, I feel like absolute shit, but I need some content for the YouTube. So stay tuned for the next video. If you like these videos, please comment down below and I can keep them up alongside all my recipe videos. <laughs> Man, the things I do for YouTube. I should be in bed. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nah, see you all later. Hope you all have a good day. Boop.